welcome to the Hampton by Hilton Hotel in Sheffield City Centre. I'm staying here for one night, bed and breakfast, and the room has cost £146, booked with booking.com. As you can see, it's a very nice businessy type room. And it's got a nice king size bed. Looks fairly uh, plump, I'll tell you. Yes, that's quite comfortable. It's quite an interesting little shaped room. We've got this uh, neck curtain which goes across an alcove. And then the alcove offers a view of a pipe some walls and a bit of sunshine over there in Kellam Island. So I asked for a room on a high floor with a nice view and I got the room on the fourth floor out of, I believe, six with a fairly rubbish view. So they didn't really listen to that request or they couldn't accommodate it. So, what else do you get in the room? There is a, a seat and puffet for putting your feet up set of drawers next to the bed and telephone on top the all important plug socket next to the bed big thumbs up from me for that a little desk area to do some work and then there is the tea and coffee making stuff and a flat screen LG TV and of course a mirror hey and there's an even bigger mirror over here when you came in the door a full on let me check myself out mirror so this side of the bed is a cube of mystery. I don't know what it is actually, but it's probably a clock radio or something. Um, and then we've got air conditioning here, which you may or may not be able to hear is on. And the room is a nice temperature. It's actually quite warm outside, which is uh, not that common in the UK in April. It's probably about 17, 18 degrees and very sunny. We've got a cupboardy wardrobe bit here with Iron, ironing board, coat hangers, etc. Hair dryer, the all important hair dryer for those people who wish to preen their buffons. And my bag on the floor, which won't be here when you stop here. Now, this is quite nice, I like this because when I actually came into the room first time, before I went out and came back in again, this door was like this. Ooh. Yeah, it's easy to shut it like that, bash. That door was like that, and on the other side of that door is the bathroom. So when you're in the wardrobe, you're not in the bathroom and when you're in the bathroom you're not in the wardrobe if that makes sense so in the bathroom you get a nice uh, 21st century toilet nice shape a cute little sink and a fantastic minor step up walk-in shower with a semi-textured surface um, and free showery stuff to make yourself smell nice and be clean and fresh Above that is the shower itself. So this is quite a nice white bathroom. There's the all-important coat hook, which are good, and a nice selection of towels for you to choose from. So this is a, a nice room. I'm, uh, I'm impressed. Bathroom's very nice. It wasn't cheap, but accommodation in Sheffield is notoriously expensive, and there is not a lot of it. Take note, hotel developers, more hotels are definitely needed in Sheffield. I'm not sure what you're thinking of the film quality so far, but I'm actually filming on a new camera. This is a Sony A6000. And I found it a little bit uh, shaky outside, but uh, you be the judge of what it's like when I'm filming with it indoors. Anyway, here's my room. And uh, now I'm off out to Kellam Island to sample some fabulous ales. It's kind of the real ale capital of the UK, I begrudgingly say, as I'm a Leeds resident. Right, over and out, I shall do some more filming around the hotel uh, tomorrow morning. Bye bye.
Okay, so the lift is a Phono Mac 3. Never heard of that before. And when you go up from the ground floor, you've got a spider card security measure, which is good. So you walk, there's three lifts. Thank <laughs> you. 